one side of uh, this automation, which uh, which to some extent uh, there is some reduction in the manpower that happens, but there is also silver lining to it because the reduction which is happening is in the areas which which is going to make it safer and better for people. Ideally, people should not be doing whether it is a high hazard, uh, repetitive, mundane, very f- high fatigue. But uh, to come on to the advantages side, if you look at the seniors separately, while they when they comes to the benefit, they might work together, but Digital in manufacturing means many different things and many advantages. One of them is uh, delivering new business model. So the entire uh, revenue which is coming from a smart product, whether we are doing smart tire or a gas meter or a transformer, it is enabling a new service revenue for us. It extends the product life by you are proactively monitoring it, fixing it. It reduces cost of operations for the customer. So this entire benefit around new business model because of a smart product is one big advantage. The second is it is making our environment safer. Whether we use computer vision and IoT, uh, we do a lot of digital poka yoke. Uh, for example, we used a computer vision in some of our most unsafe operations to sense, um, uh, for example, the human hands or the uh, the photosensitive gloves, which stops the machine automatically when they when they when they see that the uh, the hands are getting into the uh, the rolling machine, etc. So it actually makes the entire environment much safer. The third is making our products not just smarter but better from a quality point of view. So if you look at uh, I always say that 20 years back or 17, 18 years back when I started my career, uh, the, the, uh, the key KPI in manufacturing was OEE. Today, it is still OEE, and I'm sure 200, uh, uh, 10, uh, 20 years down the line, it will still remain OEE. But what has changed is how do you and how much you actually can do this benefit. Manufacturing is also the industry which is actually hit by many frameworks, right from ISO to Six Sigma to 3TM to world-class uh, manufacturing, many of them. And you go back to those people saying that there's going to be digital, which is going to make it better. It becomes a lot more bit difficult from a change management point of view. But if you, if you look at from an operations point of view, whether the safety point of view or a new business model point of view, the other is entire making our plants more productive. So if you look at all these entire governments focus on 25% contribution to GDP, not means many more manufacturing, which is coming from China uh, that we see already the trend, but it is also our existing plants, which are, I think in RPG, I can say all our plants are at least 40 year, 50 year old. How can we do more with less? Because these are huge capex. We, we can't just go and say that let's put another plant, which is going to be a smart factory. So we are converting a lot of our factories into future factory, which gives us the 10 to 15% productivity improvement. And we've seen in one of our plant where we implemented smart manufacturing. So there's a lot of improvement in the plant productivity, 